Hey everyone, we've got a great example of our southeastern native grapevine, Vitus rotundifolia, the muscadine. Uh, now there are a lot of cultivars available on the market and this is a very po popular backyard grape to be grown, in particular uh, in the southeastern United States. Uh, now one thing uh, that you're going to notice as we zoom in on some of the actual grapes that are actually being produced right now is it's not the big a bunch of grapes typically that you might be familiar with from the grocery store. A lot of times uh, they're uh, born in smaller clusters. Now there are some examples of muscadine uh, fruits that are born in kind of bigger clusters, but uh, typically that's not my experience with them. Uh, they're, they're born maybe in a little bit smaller clusters. Rotundifolia, of course, uh, the leaves are more round uh, than some other grapevines. They're thick, uh, they're very thick leaves as well. Uh, and a lot of the foliage that you see on this plant has grown this year. It was pruned back quite significantly uh, to basically the main, uh, one main, uh, one main stem, one main shoot through here. Uh, but uh, it has grown back. It has produced a lot of fruit this year and uh, people have been out picking it. A great grapevine, one that everybody needs to know. And of course, uh, this genus Vitus has definitely been important in the world for a variety of reasons, uh, from winemaking and cultural reasons. But uh, we definitely need to know this southeastern native grape, the muscadine. So this is uh, typically classified as hardy from zone six through nine, uh, but I'm gonna tell you that it can be uh, harder pr to produce fruit in that zone six and seven. Uh, typically, uh, you're gonna see this really wheelhouse uh, would be zone eight for great uh, fruit production. Uh, as you start to clue in on the leaves and the leaf arrangement, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, typically looks like alternate leaf arrangement, uh, but the tendrils, the twining tendrils, can also can come oppositely from the uh, from the leaf. So it's a little bit confusing. Uh, look closely. Look at that uh, serration on the edge of the leaf as well uh, to make sure you know exactly what you're looking for. This actually can vine up to 90 foot tall into a tree. Uh, or it can spread out a uh, quite wide prostate on the ground. So a vining, tendriling plant. Growing in the home garden, you definitely would want to get this a trellis because increased sunlight is going to aid in fruit production. Here's a landscape tip. Muscadine grapes are large and have a thick skin, but are good for eating and winemaking due to their sweet, pungent flavor.